Hey guys, what's going on? Today guys, I'm bringing you guys somewhat of a special video I'd consider this. Um, this is an idea that many people had before, but obviously nobody really went through with it yet because uh, JX had basically said that they're not going to be doing any more bonus experience weekends. Uh, but now since we are going to be having one, I believe on the 21st to the 23rd, I believe someone said it was around there. I'm not 100% sure if it is around that date. If it is that date, I will uh, update the description for you guys. You guys will see exactly what it is. But anyways, as you guys see in the background, I am depositing my memories into the rift at the uh, Mobilizing Armies area. Um, this is something that, I mean, I'm going to tell you guys something. This isn't too efficient, uh, but it's definitely a cool thing to do if you plan on getting a crazy amount of divination experience on the bonus experience weekend. You could probably set a daily record unless, actually I don't think you can because someone used spins or some shit. So maybe you can't set a daily record, um, but you can definitely get a good record up there. You can definitely get like a weekly record, I would assume. Because uh, you have about two or like two and a half days or something like that to do this in total. Uh, and you can honestly probably get 99 divination off of this uh, if you have like level 50 or something like that right now. As you guys know, whenever you train divination, more than like probably half the skill is collecting the memories. And the other half of it is depositing it into the rift. Now obviously collecting memories and putting them in your bank isn't too ideal. Obviously you just go over to the rift and you just deposit them on right? And it's like obviously, right? Uh, but since this is going to be bonus experience... Uh, it's kind of a cool idea. What you guys could do for this experience weekend is uh, you guys could basically save. I would probably suggest saving your enriched ones, your enriched memories, which is like the little enchanted one, um, instead of just the normal regular ones that give you less experience. I think the enriched ones give you exactly double the experience. Um, so, you know, obviously you want to save those ones. You could deposit both the memories and just, you know, keep going, but it'd make more sense just to keep the enriched in your bank. Maybe use off the ones that aren't enriched. So I don't want to make this too video too long. This is my second time trying to make it. The first one's like around 8 minutes. So I want to cut that down as much as I can get to the basic point. So you guys have a little bit around 2 weeks, maybe almost 3 weeks to go around, to go out there, train some divination and collect all the memories you want. Um, now if you if you have like level 50 divination, it's probably going to be the best for you or around that level. Um, collect all your memories from level 50 spot. Uh, level 50 spot is kind of hard to get. So that's the only thing about this is that collecting these memories and putting them to the bank uh, it will waste some time. That's that's where the whole inefficiency thing kind of comes in. But if you're a person that doesn't care too much about experience and being efficient, you just want to get max total, or you just want to get 99 divination, this is definitely going to be something that you probably want to try out. Now, if any of you guys are around level 60 divination, this is fucking golden for you guys, okay? And if you're not 60, guys, I would definitely recommend get 60 divination normally, and then go ahead, go to mobilizing armies, start collecting those energies, and just through collecting those energies, you, should, you guys should try to go from level 60 to level 70 divination. Just right there, just through collecting the the the, uh, the memories. Bank them right there, very quick banking, obviously. It's all about mobilizing armies. And then once bonus experience day comes, you guys will have a whole bunch of energies uh, to use up that day, which will be the vibrant ones. I think that's level 61. So all you need is the, a bunch of energies like that. Go ahead and go from mobilizing armies to the rift right there. Deposit all your memories. You're going to get double experience. Crazy amount of experience because you don't have to spend time uh, collecting the memories now. Um, and you can probably shoot from 60 to 70 divination uh, within no time. Right? Obviously, you'll probably be ahead of 60 though because you probably trained there for a while. You probably collected a lot of memories. You might even almost get level 70 divination just from collecting this crap. Take all the things you have in your bank, deposit them right there. You might go from fucking 70 divination to possibly like 80, maybe even higher. Now this is something I'm, I'm obviously not going to be doing because I want to save some money. I'm going to trade some herbal. I already got pre-overloads being made and I'm slowly making them obviously. Um, but if you are someone that wants to just finish off this skill because it's slow, things like that. And obviously as you guys know, the, the lower the level in the skill, the slower it is. So I mean normally the low levels is very, very hard to get through and then you start getting better experience once you get a higher level. If I was to do this though, I'd probably get 200k plus experience an hour legit and then 400k if it was doubled. So. I mean, you're looking at a really good amount of experience per hour doing this method. You're going to need a lot of memories. I'm not really too sure how long it takes for an entire uh, inventory. As you guys saw in the first clip, I did a full inventory anyway. So you guys can probably just take that time that it took me to go to the bank, run back, uh, you know, deposit the memories, run back to the bank. Take that and see how long that takes. Um, that won't, you know, obviously when people say get a, you know, estimate of how much experience an hour it is. That's not the most efficient thing to do, but right here, I mean, going to the bank and deposit memories, you can't really screw that up in any possible way. So I can, I, you know, I would say take that sample and see how much, how many times you can basically deposit in one hour. And then that will be your hourly experience. And like I said, the more enriched you have, the better it is. Now, especially if you have 60 divination guys, you guys want to deposit all the enriched into your bank and then just, you know, use the rest. 
um, because then you're going to get a disgusting amount of experience at that point. I'm not even kidding. I could honestly see somebody. We're reaching eight minutes again, aren't we? I can honestly see someone go from 60 to 70 collecting memories, and from probably 70 to level 90 plus, they could probably do just from collecting some memories, putting it into the bank. Now, if you have like 70 divination already, you could do 70 spot uh, until you know higher levels, obviously, and just collect the memories from there. Uh, if you guys have a pack yak, use a pack yak. And here's one more thing I could also add. If you guys have magic note papers, I believe these might work on. I haven't tried it yet, but you guys can try ahead. Go ahead and try it. Uh, but yeah, this is a great place as well to use magic note papers if you have a little bit of those collected from Sof, which I would assume most of you guys do. Um, it does work on other things that are untradeable, so I would assume maybe it works on these as well. This will be the first thing I ever tell you guys to do that's not efficient to do, but it's kind of cool. Um, like I said, if you're not someone that's going for a bunch of Twitter, most stats, or things like that, and you still don't really know what to do for bonus experience weekend, this is just a little small suggestion. Slow skill, which kind of sucks normally if we go through a slow skill. This will speed the shit out of this skill for you guys. Now, yes, collecting the memories for the next two weeks will be very boring probably. Very shitty experience because you're not going to be deposited in memories. But those two, three days, I'm telling you guys, a few million experience for sure. If I was to do this myself with my level, obviously, and things like that, I honestly think I could probably get like 20 million fucking divination experience with all the enriched uh, memories. Uh, maybe like 15 million or something like that if I use both, maybe. But I mean, that's all done in like three days, you know. I could probably at least get 5 million a day, right? That's, yeah, I could probably easily get 5 million a day. So, I mean, this, this is something that a lot of people could use for their advantage if they don't want to spend money on bonus experience weekends. Uh, or if they don't have any money to spend, obviously, and instead of maybe training something like woodcutting, this is something to look forward to maybe, because woodcutting, you know, it can be like AFK, it can be very easy, very fast. Um, I would still suggest, if you guys don't have money, train agility, train the skill you hate the most, basically, which hopefully is a non-AFK skill, because then, you know, you can AFK later on. Uh, divination, somewhat AFK, we are reaching 8 minutes, fuck my life. Try to make the video shorter, and then it doesn't, it doesn't work out. I just feel like I have to explain everything to you guys so you guys know exactly what's going on. But anyway, that's just that's just who I am, I guess. Last thing I will say though, guys, is make sure if you are going to do this, make sure that the next level of divination, like the next spot that you collect memories at, you have energies from that spot. So, I mean, if you're training at the 60 spot, make sure that you get yourself a lot of level 70 uh, memories as well if you do go ahead and collect from the 70 spot as well. Because you're going to... If you're going to deposit the 70 memories, you're going to need the energies as well. I believe you use 10 energies for every single enriched you have. So every single enriched, you basically use 7 because you collect, I think you get 3 or is it 5 you get whenever you collect them. Um, something like that. And then the other ones, uh, the normal ones, you only use 5 of the uh, the regular energies. So you only lose like 2 actual energies from from using the um, the normal ones. You get 3 collecting it, you use up 5 when you deposit it using the you know the extra experience offer. Um, so you only lose 2 each one you collect. And beautiful, there we are, eight minutes long. So anyways, guys, hope this helps you guys a little bit. Like I said, two weeks in advance. Hope that will give you guys enough time to collect some memories if you'd like to. Like I said, not efficient, but definitely something cool and forward, and look forward to seeing. Hopefully someone does do this. I'll look pretty sweet in the high scores. I'd like to see someone pull up like 20 million fucking divination in like a day or two. Um, which I don't think anyone really would be going for level for 20 million because you guys are probably at the lower levels. But even if someone that's level 95 divination, if you guys want to try this out, um, if you guys don't care too much experience and you only want to do divination, let's just say you have like a hundred mil divination experience. This is the only skill you want to get the top page or some shit. Maybe go ahead and try this method. You can get a lot of experience. Anyways, guys, before I ramble on to 20 minute video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. And, um, yeah, hopefully uh, we get some good divination numbers on bonus experience weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.